Welcome to worship during this Holy Week. Tenebrae, or Liturgy of the Shadows, was the traditional celebration of the liturgical hours of Matins and Lauds, and follows Christ as he goes through his Passion. Please find a quiet place to join in the service. This service is a meditation on the Passion with music, prayer, and silence. Welcome to our Holy Week Tenebrae service, the Liturgy of Shadows. Tenebrae means darkness or shadows. As we come to the end of Lent, we begin a journey into darkness, to a place of deep shadows. This week we accompany Jesus in his last hours. We witness the cruelties and the suffering he endures. We listen to the words of condemnation and ridicule. In all this he is innocent. He is the faithful servant of God, doing his Father's work, bringing the gospel of love, peace, and hope. This week we are invited to walk solemnly and attentively with Jesus. Better to know. Better to understand. Better to be his friend, his disciple, his witness. Be still and know that God is here.
we begin our Holy Week journey with Jesus at the Last Supper. The disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make the preparation for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed, and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. And he replied, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God.
Before we leave on a journey, move house, or move abroad, many of us like to gather with family and friends. We like to give them a parting gift, something symbolic, so our love and friendship will be remembered and our life will be recalled and cherished. It can be a photograph or a favorite book, a record or even an audio message. But Jesus left no such mementos by which to be remembered. He left something greater. He left himself present to all. The meal of bread and wine, the Last Supper, the Eucharist, is much more than a farewell, more than a religious rite, and more than a religious obligation. It is a unique spiritual event through which we Christians experience His presence and during which the redemption of humankind that Jesus brought about by His life, death, and resurrection is reenacted and renewed. During the Eucharist, we're called to be true and faithful disciples, to be another Christ. We are called to serve others as Jesus did, helping the poor, lifting up the downtrodden, releasing captives, healing the sick, challenging the causes of poverty and oppression, helping orphans and widows. This is the way to extend His presence and love in the world through unselfish service. At this time, we pause for silent reflection. Father in heaven, on the night before he died, your son shared the Passover meal with his friends, giving them bread to nourish their spirits, and wine poured out his, his blood for the forgiveness of their sins. We pray that we may turn to him for our strength and for our forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. in peace. Remember the Lord.